Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going there. We're gonna be talking about male and female bullet style connectors. We're gonna discuss exactly which ones do you place on your battery pack versus your electronic speed control versus your brushless motor. Each one has specific rules associated with it that really ultimately deal with safety to make sure that we don't short anything out. So let's get right into it and start off by talking about our ESC to brushless motor connection. This is by far the most easy one to identify in order to apply the correct connector. Now what we want to make sure is that the source is not going to be able to dissipate power and short out. So if you did have a male connector on your ESC because that's the source of power, brushless motor receives the power from the ESC, it would potentially short out with those male connectors. This is why you want to use as a standard female connectors on the electronic speed control. Now many brushless ESCs for radio control cars already have female connectors built right into the ESC board. This way you really don't have an option as to what you use. You're going to use that standard right from the factory. However, for an airplane ESC, you may be dealing with soldering on your own connectors. In this case, you will want to make certain that you put female connectors on the three leads that are on the ESC side. This obviously leaves the male connectors for the brushless motor. And this is how we make certain that if the ESC were to be powered up, it will not short out the power as easily if it were to be male connectors incorrectly applied to the ESC. Having those female connectors just ensures that much more bit of safety in case we have something powered up like there are ESC and the brushless motor is not yet connected to it. Now let's move into talking about our battery pack to ESC connections. Now there's two different methods that can be used here. Now the first one is if we have both the positive and the negative polarities in the connector body, we're gonna have the same gender of connector being used there. However, in some cases, and this is one that I frequently use and I'm most happy with this style connector, I have them independent. This allows me to connect multiple battery packs in series without needing to use Y adapters. So that if you're looking to get 8S, all I need is two 4S packs. And those two 4S packs are gonna be able to connect together without the need of an additional wire harness. This is pretty beneficial, especially if you're using lots of different setups that need and require two battery packs. However, if you only have the single connector, again, if the battery pack is the power source, you want the female connector to be associated with that. So if you have connectors similar to the XT60 or the XT90, these are connectors that have both polarities built right into the body of the connector, and you want to be using the female connector on the battery pack, leaving the male connector for the electronic speed control. When we talk about our last setup here, where we have the male and the female connector both on the battery pack, we need to ultimately understand which one goes where. Where do we place as a standard to create standardization within our models? Where do we put the female connector on the positive or negative? It was back in 2007 where I was asking this exact same question because what I wanted is to make sure I have standardization so that if I have an issue with a battery pack, I could always borrow someone's battery pack who's part of the club who shows up that day and they have the exact same standard that I use. When I asked this question, the phrase that stuck with me to this day is red hot female. Now we're gonna get into that very shortly. As long as I follow this standard and everyone else is following this standard, all of our components, all of our connections are interchangeable. And I really like it when clubs use all the same connectors so everything's standard. If someone forgets a wire harness, someone else has a wire harness available because of these sorts of standardizations. So this is a good one. Now let's get into understanding what exactly does the whole red hot female mean. So the red refers to the positive lead being red, of course. That's the positive lead. And the hot part represents the battery. The battery is the hot source of power in our component setup. And then the female, of course, is the connector. So on the battery pack, we are going to use on the positive lead a female connector. And from that saying, you know exactly how everything else goes. As for the negative side, of the battery pack that is going to get your male lead and it's going to look something like this now this is what is allowing me to plug in two 4s packs two 3s packs two 2s packs whatever the case is 
is so that I don't need to have an additional wire harness, which saves me all kinds of trouble. I plug in my packs, I'm ready to go. No additional wiring is needed, so I don't need to worry about that. Well guys, that pretty well does it for connectors. I hope this one straightens out uh, the questions that have been asked about where do I place the male and the female connectors within my setup. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.